What's up guys, Kickhog here. We're gonna run some Kalid in a second. However, I wanna share with you what I did earlier, which was we went to the isolated merchant shack to pick up. Uh, we finally got, and I suggest you put it on your pouch on the right side and not on your bar, because it's just a lantern. So, put it on that. <clears throat> I got some stone sword keys. I bought three of them, so that way we can unlock a multiple doors. I bought another cracked pot. And I... Mm, I think I didn't get the... Ash of War. Back unused this oh, I did. Yep. Got the Ash of War. Okay. So we can use the Ashes of War to duplicate... Uh, or Lost Ashes of War, sorry. To duplicate the Ashes of War. So that'll come in handy later. And we'll get to that, but... And I still never looked up this, which I'm uh, interested in. This is escaping me right now, and that's fine. Oh, also I crafted more fire pots and silver pickled foul foots. <laughs> and we can go ahead and do that. Right, so I'm close to leveling up again and I spent too many ruins, so I'm gonna try and use my lowest ones to uh, do that. <clears throat> Level up, oh my god, one more. Uh, maybe two more. Mm. What was it? Yep, perfect. I decided to start doing strength. <clears throat> Again. Should probably pop our dexterity into strength, but it's too late. Now we can at least use a plethora of weapons now. Since it's kind of a quality build, we're lacking in intelligence, faith, and arcane, which is okay but um, it's going to limit our use of those, but with this weapon, we don't need it, so. Did we still not do the minor earth tree? Alright, let's, let's tackle it before we do Kaelid. <clears throat> I want that tier. We have fire pots now that I just made. And also we have uh, uh, fire grease. I'm not sure if we can actually put it on this weapon or not, but uh, we'll get to that. Also, a little insider trick here. <clears throat> that guy walking with the, the curved bandit swords is one of the best curved swords in the game. So if you want to farm him, it's a 0.1% drop rate. So it's going to take a while. I suggest pickled the silk that's why I created the uh, silver pickled god I hate that fucking name. silver pickled foul foot <laughs> anyways uh, yeah you're gonna have to use one it's gonna be a while until you can get that weapon if you uh, don't use it it'll take probably an hour to two hours of farming it straight to get it I recommend the foul foot up to you. Alright, instead of summoning someone, I'm gonna get my knight out here. And also, we put flame damage on this weapon, and we put flame of the red main, so it's gonna go a lot smoother this time. And actually, now that I just said that, I forgot we probably can't use our fire grease. Let's try it. Nope, can't, can't do it anymore. I forgot. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go for it. Yeah, much easier now. Much, much easier. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Alright, so that's the archery we had such trouble with before. The better weapon with Flame of the Red Mains and a fire damage. Uh, kind of a joke. And I'm pretty sure the opaline bubble tier is uh, the shield, which is what I wanted to get because um, we can get rid of that now. Defeated the Earth Tree. I wanted to get that because it's going to give you a protection bubble, so if you're going to get one shot or if you're going to get destroyed by a boss, um, make sure you use that tier. I think it lasts three minutes, something like that. It could be a minute. I'm pretty sure it's three, but uh, do your own testing, figure it out. I don't really care because uh shouldn't really need it, but it's great for um, people who are new to FromSoft and they get a pretty much a free hit. So we should be fine with um, blocking because it's 75% damage reduction boost on this weapon. So if you look at guard damage negation it says physical, oh and it went down, oh that's interesting, okay. Wow, I didn't, uh, I didn't look at that. Before the fire was added to this weapon, it was 75. Now it's 71.2, which is still great. It's just, uh, our magic went down from 45 to 42.7. Fire went up to 52.6, because it's a fire weapon, that makes sense. But lightning al also went up, and holy went down, which is interesting. Very interesting. And the guard boost went down. It was 52. Wow, that's, uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Alright, anyways, um, also another little farming thing I was trying to do was, like, facing cliffs. It's gonna take a while to get these to drop. Because again, it's like a 0.1 to 1% drop chance. Uh, if you manage to not get this uh, Golem uh, uh, Halberd to drop, then this is also a viable option. They just uh, buffed Great Axes in the last patch. So Great Axes are faster, stronger, do more damage, have more block potential, the whole shebang. Faster recovery time, uh, kind of a big deal. So, going from a weapon that no one used to now people are trying to make builds out of them and call them the meta, so that's uh. Things are changing. But I go over here. From the lake facing cliffs, it's the last one we got in Lyernia. So. Jump off your mount. I like to kill these guys quick because uh, there's gonna be a big bad boy on the other side, but before you do anything, pop your oh, oh, oh there they come. <clears throat> pop your silver pickled pouch. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. And I waited too long. I should have popped it before and that's okay. But I like to ignore the big guy for a second. These guys will come back so you need to hit them. <clears throat> After you kill them, you need to hit them again. <clears throat> or they will just keep responding and you won't get any loot at all. That's true for all undead, unless you are uh, have holy damage. And if you kill them with holy damage or a holy buff on or something like that, you'll uh, kill them indefinitely. Let's see. So this guy... Okay. Anyways, we have our silver pickled foul foot on, and it's gonna increase our uh, temporary temporarily boost item discovery. So if you use one of these, it's gonna last, I think, three minutes. So you have some time. If you can see up on the top left, it shows our buffs. We have the <coughs> Radagon Sword Seal, and then we have the Hammer Talisman, and then the silver pickled foul foot. So if you watch closely and make sure it doesn't go away. You can do this uh, farm over and over and over. So if you miss this weapon, I kind of got lucky with a random drop and just decided to use it because it, <laughs> it looked pretty good. But uh, if you missed it, uh, this is a great alternative right now. 
it's uh, probably one of the best weapons for strength you can get. <clears throat> but in the next episode, we're going to do Kalid, which um, you're going to get another great weapon uh, called the Greatsword. It's just literally the Greatsword, which is deceiving because it's not a Greatsword, it's a Colossal Sword. So uh, I might try and use it a little bit too, just to see the comparison between this Halberd and the Greatsword. So um, yeah, there's some tips and tricks. There's uh, the Earth Tree down, and then... Um, if you missed what we bought, there we go. So, yeah, KCOG out. See you guys in the next episode. Later.